I'm Ruben Reynolds. I'm the music director of the Boston Gay Men's Chorus. We have an incredible tour coming up, uh, South Africa. We wanted to show both American music styles. We have shaker hymns, we have gospel, we have Broadway, we have sh hopefully something that shows the diversity of who we are. In addition, we've learned two songs in Swahili. One is the setting of the Lord's Prayer and the other was Shoshaloza. It's a protest song that talks about a train coming and how that train gets closer and closer and we're all on this adventure together. I'm Tyler Brewer and I have been in the Boston Cayman's Chorus for six years now. My name is Joe Valadez, and I've been in the Boston Gay Men's Chorus since September of 2017. A lot of the music that we're performing this cycle is music that I'm familiar with. Just from being a, a chorus teacher and seeing the repertoire kind of come across my desk. But then there are some pieces that I've never experienced before or heard of. One of my favorites is Baba Yetu, which is a setting of the Lord's Prayer in Swahili. And as a former church musician, I've sung settings of the Lord's Prayer for years. <laughs> and this one is truly the most exciting arrangement that I've ever sung. And then This Is Me. The last song on the concert is This Is Me from The Greatest Showman. And it says a lot about us and what we do is we don't try to change people's minds. We simply tell people who we are. And a mind or two gets changed by that, that's a good thing. Our whole outlook about ourselves and why we exist is to sing the stories of our lives. It's really those those big, powerful songs, and those are the ones where they just echo through your memory for years afterwards. By the time we're, you know, getting to the final measures, you can feel the emotion just soaring through the entire chorus. We've actually looked at several things that are important to both us and to South Africans or African culture. One is a continuum of life that we are here because of the people who came before us. One of the songs we're singing is Together Again by Janet Jackson that she actually wrote for a friend of hers who uh, had just been diagnosed with breast cancer. It then became kind of an AIDS anthem of when we lost so many people, but it talks about being together in heaven. And it's this whole idea that we are part part of, uh, as one of the other songs puts it, the human heart. All people on this planet come together and create the human heart. We're about creating bridges, about finding each other, rather than about creating barriers. Joe is a tenor one and I'm a baritone, so there's always that <laughs> separation in the beginning mm -hmm. of the cycle where you know we're singing basses and baritones and tenors, and it's, we don't really know where we fit into right. each other's parts. Right. You're looking and going, how is this really going to, to work out? And that first rehearsal when everyone's together downstairs, it's like, oh yeah, this is, <laughs> this is gonna be really good. As soon as we start performing in front of audiences in South Africa, uh, it's just gonna rework the magic for mm. everyone. I can't wait to get my ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> From the day I was born, my, I think my parents packed me up when I was four years old and went to Europe. I've been traveling and I adore learning about other cultures and exploring cultures, and exploring people. We've already made lots of wonderful contacts over there and I think the best thing is going to be the people that we're going to meet.